everyone, Christian here. Hopefully I can talk over this wind. I'm going to invest in a better camera once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So keep that in mind if you happen to share with your friends or with uh, other, you know, other people you may know that may be in the plants. So anyway, here this is actually not going to be a, a, a typical palm review. This is going to be, be a review on pony, excuse me, Bocarnia recurvata, better known as the ponytail palm. Now there are many plants that have the common name, uh, have a common name with the word palm in them that are not actually palms. Uh, some are cycads, some are just other types of plants. This is actually in the asparagus family and it is native to eastern Mexico. So it, it actually has really no relation to palms at all, except for the, in the way that it grows, it will put out its new leaves through the, through the middle of the crown of each head. That's about the only thing it has in relation to palms. Um, you know, it branches quite a bit. Uh, this is not typical for most palms. And uh, its fat, succulent-like trunk uh, does not uh, have any resemblance to palms whatsoever. Uh, we can get a little bit closer here. And you can see here there's no, there's no rings like, a, like there would be on any regular palm where the, where the old boots come off. There's a little bit of damage on this plant, but it was a little bit hard getting this is a recent transplant it was a little hard getting it out of the ground but um, we don't have a whole lot of sun here but you can kind of see this is quite a tall specimen probably topping out around 26 feet or so um, this had to be brought here by tractor trailer and was going to be the centerpiece of our garden but it uh we chose a different uh, different plant for that so um this plant is something you can find as a much smaller. This is about 35 to 40 years old. Let me just back up here a little bit. So it's a little shaky. I apologize. This plant's about 35 to 40 years old. And it was first in a friend of mine's garden. And it was transplanted here. And <clears throat> now it will be here hopefully forever. But these are uh, typically, you will find, you can find these at a grocery store growing in a little flower pot. Uh, for sale for like $6.99, $7 essentially, so 5 euro, something like that. I don't know if this is in Europe or Australia, but in the U.S. you'll find these almost anywhere. You can find them at uh, big box stores. You can find them uh, pretty much anywhere where you find typical, and the wind's picking up here, typical uh, potted plants for sale, maybe for indoor. But this isn't, I've seen these being grown indoors, and they can be grown indoors, but they do like full sun. They do like having, uh, you know, the, that that ability to photosynthesize, and as a result, they they tend to kind of languish in in uh, indoor uh, climates. Um, where they grow in eastern Mexico, they're native to Veracruz and a couple of the other uh, southern provinces, south south and eastern Mexico, and uh, they don't like to sit in water. Uh, this bulbous trunk is very uh, succulent-like. It's like a cactus. You don't want to let it uh, get flooded in the area where you're going to plant it if you're going to because it will just rot. But uh, on the upside, it is very easy to, to plant, to transplant. It transplants like a cactus. If you dig into it and you kind of cut at the base, it will kind of uh, harden itself off. And it is a relatively uh, low-maintenance plant other than the fact that it just needs some sun and good draining soil or just in a, a little bit drier area. It kind of grows in a wet, dry area of uh, those provinces down there. Now, for cold hardiness, um, I've never had to see one of these take cold damage. And so I'm not, you know, as you guys know, I kind of live in South Florida where we just don't get some of those, like, temperatures below, say, 30 Fahrenheit, so, or negative 1 to 2 Celsius. So uh, my knowledge about it is cold hardiness really just comes from friends, and I think uh, negative 5 to negative 8 is probably going to be Celsius, or 20 to 20... Three degrees is where it's going to start taking damage. I know these will grow in all over central Florida, pretty much even in the colder areas. And um, I've seen them as far north as actually Gainesville, so um, and also in Jacksonville. So, it, and this is going to be a zone nine, solid zone nine plant. It might grow in some areas of zone eight, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I just haven't seen enough of them uh, that far north. But um, you can kind of uh, train these plants to grow fatter or taller depending on where you put them how much light and if you're willing to trim them up so if you just kind of like any tree if you cut off some of the sides here they'll kind of fatten out and they'll they'll kind of grow some they'll grow they'll get an outer growth like from here if i were to cut that end there it would grow more uh horizontally instead of growing vertically and sorry i'm trying to use my finger 
to also help in this uh, this review. So uh, over here we can see that the one of the heads is actually flowering, and never seed really seed fall to the ground. I never tried to really ever never wanted to attempt to collect seed, but you can see when it does uh, flower the the head in which it's, it'll actually flower to the middle of the head and those leaves will kind of hang downward as that flowers and then it'll kind of come back up and start continuing to grow. Um, kind of like the way a uh, monocarpic palm would do so, like a carypha. So um, I know that seeds are readily available if you want to try and grow these from seed and they're not uh, hard to grow. So I wish I was getting a better color here. There's just no uh, sun behind me, unfortunately, but it was a, it's a, nice day to be outside and not have to uh, be beaten down by the sun so um, yeah I, I guess if you want a low maintenance plant that put, makes a big presence in your yard that isn't very expensive to obtain or hard to obtain this is a great plant people tend to like the novelty of the ponytail you know it looks kind of tropical just kind of blowing there in the wind and um, you know it kind of has this really cool base to it so uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it for the ponytail. I just, typically I would, you know, do other things for palm reviews. I just don't really have uh, this information like, you know, uh, seed germination techniques because it's not really something that I've ever grown from seeds. So um, I don't want to, like, give you information that's not true. But I assume that they're pretty easy to germinate. You could probably do it similar to uh, your average easy palm, um, you know, regular well-draining mix. So um, I hope this was uh, somewhat informational and helpful or uh, fun to watch and if so uh, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and if you have friends that uh, you know might be in the palms other tropicals you know go ahead and share and let other people know about this channel because I'm going to try and grow it I'm going to try and make it more I try to do some editing I'm not very com computer literate I mean I'm computer literate but I'm not good at video editing but I'm going to try and talk with some people about it so uh, getting to a thousand subscribers kind of is like a little milestone that I think is it's cool that um, I want to kind of, you know, just kind of keep on growing from there. So anyway, I'll leave that there. I uh, appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next time.